Hi everyone, I'm Brianna and welcome to episode 11 of the Twilight Saga Animal Crossing series. Today we're going to be building the neighborhood for my wolf villagers, so let's go ahead and get started. So to begin with, I mapped everything out and now I just need to start moving all of the villager houses. So I'm going to skip right over that and do a little movie magic and let's see what it's looking like now. So in the neighborhood, I have Chief, Vivian, Fang, and Jacob. Alright, let's start decorating. This code is one of the codes that I first got when I started playing the game. I wish I could find it again, but I do believe the creator deleted it. And now in the center here, I want to do a campfire with logs. It represents the scene in Eclipse when Jacob brought Bella to his reservation to listen to his dad speak about the tribe and the history of how they started turning into wolves. Now I'm just making driveways. On the side of Jacob's house, he has a shed, the shed where he and Bella were building up the motorcycles, so I wanted to add that next to his house in the game. And now it's time to start changing the exterior of the houses. Some of them were okay, like fangs. But the other two, they did not look cute, so I'm going to go ahead and change them. I didn't have a set idea of what I wanted them to look like. I just wanted to be cohesive enough to go together in a neighborhood. But I definitely wanted to make it a little bit more foresty than the rest of my island. Vivian's house specifically, I wanted to make it look just like her. I love the colors of her character in general, so I definitely wanted to be a tan color, blue, and a little bit of a darker brown. And here I go again going back and forth on wreaths. Y'all know I love my wreaths and I'm never able to pick just one. And now I'm just trying to find a good variation of blue that I liked. All of them looked really pretty. So I was just really just deciding on which one I liked best. And now I'm switching over to Jacob's character so I can change the color of his house. Here's a reference picture of what his looks like. It's just a big red house with a white door. In Fang's house, all I wanted to do was change the color of his door. And then I went back and changed Chief's house that I already redid. I didn't like how dark it was compared to everything else. So I lightened up a little bit and lightened the door as well. And this is what it's looking like. I think they all look very cohesive. There's a different theme for each of them, but they all look really well together. Now I'm adding the finishing touches. I definitely want to use the flower bed as well as the Forsynthia to add some personality outside of their homes. And then over by Fangs, I want to add a dog house as well as a plushie because in the movie they like to call wolves dogs, like they smell like dogs, but I think that they'd be ironically funny and they would personally have dogs to get back at the vampires. I feel like that would be their kind of sense of humor. And again, I'm just adding some more personal touches to each of their house. Now 
Now this can't be a Twilight Saga build without some leaf piles, so I'm going to add those around here. And now I started adding clumps of weed because I wanted a little bit more detail on the ground, but really it did not matter because after you skip ahead a day, all the weeds changed and I did not know that. So let's go ahead, skip over all that and cue the montage. Williards have been a small tribe from the beginning. But we have always had magic in our blood. We were great spirit warriors. And that is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. To end the video, I had to give you a view of what it looked like at night. I love how this turned out. And as always, thank you so much for supporting my series. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.